Hi everyone, it's Cody here. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you how to do a PicMonkey post for Facebook or Instagram or maybe your like page. So this is the post I'm going to create right here. Um, super simple. It's not cluttered. It has exactly what you need. So I'm going to just kind of X out of here and recreate that. Okay, so when you first log on to PicMonkey, this is the screen that you're going to see. Um, just hover over the word design, and depending on the post that you're making, um, I typically use Facebook cover or square. For this particular one, I'm going to click square. And there are tons of options over here for backgrounds and things like that. But what I'm going to do is just pick a color that I seem to like a lot. Next, I'm going to pull up the picture from my desktop. So you're gonna click the butterfly over here on the left-hand side, go up to your own. And since I just need to get the number on that picture, I'm gonna move these around a little bit. 1960. So I'm going to post that picture right on to my post here. Just gonna drag the corners and enlarge it a bit. Um, since my arm and stomach or cut off, I'm going to just kind of drag it down. So instead of just having it like this and having words to the side, especially since my arms cut off, I'm going to go over here to the left hand side and pick a, one of these geometric shapes. And I'm just going to kind of turn it a little bit. And then again, I'm going to enlarge that. And this is where um, my font's going to go for my post. You don't have to do this. This is just um, because of the picture. I just thought that this would be best. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this picture again, and what I'm gonna do is do the eraser effect so that I can get rid of this white, and it kind of just blends. So you're going to make sure your picture is highlighted, click eraser. I like to bring the harshness down, that way it's not super harsh line. If you do erase something, it's more of like a, a blended, softer effect. And I'm going to make the eraser a little bigger just because um, it saves with time. And since this is like a larger image and I'm not doing a lot of detail work with erasing, like in between um, arms and legs and things like that, where it can get a little bit more difficult, um, with that kind of situation, you're going to want to have a very small eraser and you're going to want to click over here on the right hand side to enlarge your picture that way that you can see the details and really get in there so I think that looks um, good enough there okay so next I'm going to go over to the left hand side again and I'm gonna click the text and a ton of really fun fonts are going to come up so I'm just gonna start with this one add text and since I'm going on a back black background I'm gonna click this white over here and I'm just gonna put coach sneak peek starting February 23rd okay so since it's a little large I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna center it over here and then I'm going to just squeeze it down a little bit so it fits nicely right in there I'm gonna open up another text box you don't have to do that, but for this situation, I'm going to. And I'm going to pick the same font and add text. And again, since it's a black background, I'm going to pick this white, if it will drag up there for me. And I'm just going to put something like, have you ever considered becoming a beach body coach but don't know <clears throat> oh my goodness I cannot spell today okay so again I'm gonna center that I'm gonna shrink it down here a little bit just to kind of see so it just says, have you ever considered becoming a beach body coach, but don't know if it is the right fit for you? And make sure that we have everything spelled right here. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Join my no obligation group. Okay, 
So I'm just going to kind of shrink that down so it fits nicely, space it out. And I like to change up the fonts for some reason. I just think that um, it's fun and eye-catching. So I'm going to have to drag this over here so I can highlight these words. Sometimes that happens. So like I said, I'm just going to change some of these. If you'd like to, you can go over to the left-hand side and just change one word at a time. Super simple. Um, I just think it looks fun. I don't know. I like to just make things different. And again, the goal here is eye catching. You want to get people to stop scrolling on their phone or on their computer and see what your post is about. You want them to read it. So the prettier, the nicer the post, the better chance you're going to have that someone's going to stop and take a look and read it. Um, I don't like the way that one looks. So I'm just going to go back to that. So for now, I think that's fine. I'm going to drag this back over. Okay. I am going to show you how to make a watermark. Um, a watermark you can use if you're going to post things that you don't want other people to use. Sometimes you put a lot of hard work into your posts and it's a little upsetting when some random person on Instagram steals your entire post. So um, it's also a good way to kind of brand it. So I'm just going to elongate this and I'm going to actually, I'm going to put this down here to make it white so we can see it, make it a little smaller. Okay. So I'm going to stick that right down here and to make it kind of like a watermark, you can just fade it out um, on this right here. You can fade it out as little or as much as you want. So I just don't like it to be in your face. So um, that's why I make it a little bit more discreet. Um, you can also put them like if you're making muscle on your arm and things like that. Because I do find that some people will still cut off your picture and use it and just take off your your low, your low um your watermark there. I chose to use my like page just to get it more traction and I would like to talk to my customers before they go to my website just to purchase. So that's something that I like to do. Another thing I'm going to do here is add a circle up here and I have a logo that I like to use. You may not and that's perfectly fine. If I wasn't going to use my logo up here, I would probably just do some shapes um, something kind of fun and colorful, something again, that's eye catching. So I'm just going to pull up my logo open and here it comes. And then I'm just going to stick it here And the black circle just kind of gives it some definition and, um, again, makes it look a little bit nicer. So, um, very simple, very effective post, um, straight to the point. Um, and again, you can add more things to make it fun, more colorful, whatever. Um, there's tons of options, you know, silly things like adding mustaches, um, animals, and just anything for different holidays and whatnot. Really, the options are endless. Um, if you click this heart down here, they have different things for all the seasons, um, different themes. So really, they have just so many fun options. Um, also, editing tools, if you have a picture that you want to edit, there are so many different options here. Um, I don't suggest we use the weight loss one or nip and tuck, but um, you can do whatever you'd like. There are so many fun things. So really, just get on here, play with it. Um, if you don't buy the version that's paid for, then you um, don't have as many options, but you still have tons of options to choose from. So I think I pay $30 for the year and it is so well worth it. I think that PicMonkey definitely gives you the best, um, most eye-catching and pretty posts um, versus an app on your phone. So jump on PicMonkey, learn how to use it, uh, and really just play around and have fun with it because the options are endless. Um, so I'm just going to click save here. I'm going to just save it to my computer and you're done, voila, super simple.